and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. What's, uh, what's your real name? Nadim Poon. Nadim Poon. So how did you get the boob with it? Huh? Long story. <laughs> We've got the whole day here, so you can start telling us, eh? How did you get the boob? Hi, Dim Poon. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, we've already started. <laughs> we've already started. Oh, so, 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 so Dimpy, like, Dimpy, it first started with Dimpy, right? Uh, by the parents, by my parents giving me that name, like my mother. Mm. Yeah, she was the main one giving me that name. It was just a nickname for Nadim. Oh. And then the Dimpopo one was just here in the hood, here outside uh, the guys from the street. So now people are claiming already, like, this one gave me that name. This one <laughs> gave me that name. So yeah, that's how it came about, Dimpi, Dimpopo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a podcast and cheer. Dim Popo in the building, Eric Moon. Oh, because yeah. Hey, yeah. you don't want to miss this, Nana. <laughs> What's that other thing you say? I know, I can't say it. The, but the McFastal <laughs> glosses. <laughs> what does that mean? It basically means, for my, for my own terms, it's like yeah. to, 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 like, uh, fill yourself up with, 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 with joy and, mm. you know, and laughter and just happiness and stuff. And then there's the other one also that says uh Mark Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically to do let go what with all the hatred and, mm. and etc. Right? So you're a very positive guy, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. And a sexy one too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to ladies and gentlemen. We are out here, I'm in the hood, I'm in Aldo's. So this is your hood, this is where you grew up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of it, yeah, but I grew basically up in Clip Town, yeah. which is just a place here next to. As you see, you saw the river when you came. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's overseas for me. Yeah. So I grew up that side, and I came overseas on this side. <laughs> now I live here in this great waste. Yeah. Uh, I was meant to. I want to have. Uh, what are the, What do you call those things? Chupas. Chupas. I want to have some chupas. Some chupas. Nah, no problem. You can yeah. have those. Are those are tradition of of colors. Yeah. Chupas and and, and meat necks and everything. <laughs> as soon as I walked in here, they're like, no, you gotta have some chupas. Some chupas. <laughs> mm. Good. I haven't had these in a while. It's nice to be in the hood. Eh? <laughs> I might just move in, man. <laughs> All right, so so listen, Dibobo, uh tell me about your startup. Someone asked me on Twitter to ask you this, like how you became Dimbop and how you became big, you know? So 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 for me, quite frankly, to be honest, it was always a thing that I wanted to be this this public figure, right? Mm. I wanted to be somewhere like Yo, what's in here? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah, so basically for me, how Tim Popo came about is the idea that I always wanted to be this public figure. I always wanted to be this inspirational person, this this TV presenter, something, something in Yana, mm. being on radio and stuff. So so I was just thinking of this different ways of how I can like strategize around it. The the idea of being this uh this the guy and being Tim Tim Popo and being famous, right? So it was once where someone asked me to just help them do something and at first it was like, ah, nah, I can't do anything, mm. like it's, it don't work, you understand what I mean? So, so after, that it, after me trying it out, it was like, nah, nah, maybe this can work because people started loving it, especially on Instagram. What are you talking about? You're talking about the, the gig guide? Yeah, the gig guide, especially, oh, okay. you understand? So before the gig guide, you weren't doing anything? No, I was doing something which they call skits. Mm, you're doing skits, yeah, yeah, those are the funny ones. So it was quite challenging because in the video you see long hair, and when you see me, then there's no long hair. And you know, all the people are, what happened to the wig? What happened to the lipstick? So those were ones that I was pushing at first with the, with the idea and the positivity, and you know, just the mindset that it's gonna work out, something big is gonna happen, and it got to where it is now. And yeah, God has been good, eh? Oh, we're in Insta Live here. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you don't want to miss this, Nana. Nah. Yeah. Hey, podcast and chill. <laughs> and so, listen, uh, let's go back to your childhood. Tell me about your childhood. How was it like growing up in, in, in Clip Town? Yeah, I thought you were going to forget the name. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 yeah, I think I think it's best. It's the best way of setting it out to let people know how it was, especially growing up in Club Town, right? Mm. So for me, as a, as a child, as a, as a as a young boy, it wasn't easy mm. growing up there in in, in Club Town, right? So there you were have both lot, parents. Yeah, I do still have them, which, oh, which is a so blessing. Lucky, right? Yeah, yeah which, is, which is a blessing. So so yeah, growing up there, it was but challenging, especially uh, if I can say like school wise, financial wise. Yeah. And everything, so it wasn't as, as, as easy as you know as any, any young 
uh, like childhood. Like but you went to school. Is. Did you go to crash primary school? Yeah, I started off at crash and I got bullied out of crash. They were they, bullying you. Nah, nah, nah. Just keep it to ourselves for now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I've been teased, especially when it comes to school, I've been teased, but bully not that much because I always had the muscles and stuff for mm, mm. So I've been teased, I've been called names, all of this funny. Ah, let them come now. You know, yeah, let them come now. Like, yes, the yellow bone. Like, yes, the yellow bone. You don't want to miss this one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was quite challenging and it was tough growing up there. And uh, financial wise, as I said earlier on, school wise, it was difficult, but. I've pulled through and, and God has been good to me all the time and it's still and what kind of a, what kind of a student were you at school? Were you like well behaved or the naughty one or you always making jokes? Yo, yo. Right? During an exam, you don't wanna miss this night. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be to be quite honest, that time at school I haven't even thought about this. You know how to miss this nana, you know how to do this and that. But I wasn't actually the smart kind of learner. Mm. Like you know the fans by book and stuff. I always used to make this where, 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 talk, talk. Yeah, you know the teachers like you're gonna fail end of the year because you don't listen, you don't study and stuff and to my surprise I passed matric and so yeah, so I wasn't that smart, smart learner of you know these degrees and yes, uh, yes, diplomas yes. and everything. But I pulled through and, and I made it. Are you still friends with the people you went to high school with? Yeah, most definitely. Like some of them, I'm still friends with. Yeah. The others, maybe they relocated outside, and the others, maybe when they see me, they run away because I know that some of them it still owes me money. So the, the others moved, I don't know where to, and others still come to my wood like, yeah, you know, and come to explain me and just mm. shop a throw back in Yana and say, yo, remember those days, remember when it was like this and like this. Yeah. So yeah, they do still visit and I do catch up with them. Did you get the girls in high school because you were the funny girl? Yeah, most definitely. Hey, hey, this yellow, for this yellow bone. <laughs> Oh, uh, through it all to being teased, to being not bullied, I wouldn't say yeah. like, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. But all I've been facing, the challenges, the stuff I've been through, the ladies, they were always there. Mm -hmm. They were always there. And I couldn't, I can show you my hair, Kavara. Yeah. Back then it was blonde, blonde, you know, blonde, blonde. It was blonde back then, but the ladies, they kept coming. I don't know what was it, was it the hair? Was it the physique or I don't know what was it, but the ladies, they were always there, they were always available. But not also in a naughty manner, but I know homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After school, it's after school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Now let's go to matric. Now. Um, after you pass matric, what do you do then? So after I pass matric, because, you know, as any young uh, student, you have this idea of studying after school, mm. right? You have this idea of becoming someone in life. So, because we weren't financially stable at that moment, mm. so I knew that I first had to go and work and, and, and just get a sort of income, right? Yeah. So that I can help myself and my family as well to, to go and study and just bring like an income into the house, right? Mm. So, after my trick, it was jobs here and there, you know, helping in the community, volunteering at the family center, yeah, yeah in the community, yeah, in the country. So, it was just ups, ups and downs, but as, as time went on, it got better, like... Yeah. How long did you do that for? Uh, volunteering at the family center. Yeah. I think it was about six, seven months. And then when Timpin and Popo started blowing up, I told the manager, you know what? This is my dreams. I want to pursue this. I want to do this. Is it okay if you not release me, but just give me my space to do me? And then I will still come back. And to be honest, still this day, I haven't went back once. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if my spot's still available, are there still people waiting for me or something, but but I do still volunteer whenever they have events, like, because I'm an MC, right? Yeah. So whenever they have events or like this Heritage Day stuff mm -hmm. that we had recently, or this World Eight Day of 1st December and stuff like that, so whenever they do have something, they call me in, you know what, Bafu, come and help us, come assist us here, yeah. come do this and that. So yeah, I, I think I'm still working there, but I haven't got paid ever since <laughs> I left. <laughs> I've been watching some of your skits there. Where do you get those characters from, man? Like, well, are they inspired by people you know or just in general? Yeah, to be, to be honest, the, 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 the Nana character is basically inspired by ladies. Mm. Right? So, where I used to love at first, which is here next door, I only love there with ladies. So, growing up with those ladies, you see all of these funny things that ladies does. Like, yeah. So, I was trying just to imitate, like, just... You know, uh, the how ladies works and, and, yeah. and stuff and putting a Dimpopo side to it as well. So yeah, so this character Nana, she, she, she's quite someone that's... How many characters you've got? 
So at first I had I had three, right? Mm. So so it was uh, the the dimpy, the classic dimpy, mm. the one which you can see with the head on, with the glasses. Like I can still I can still remember the one where I said that it took me twenty years to find out that R and B stands for Rihanna and Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 that one was the the cl- the classic one, right? <laughs> and then then it's where I introduced uh, the Nana one. Mm. The Nana one, for an example, was like, uh, ladies, be like, oh, darling, I didn't fart for, for two weeks. I'm stressed. I'm worried. I'm depressed. What if I'm pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> so so that was Nana when Nana actually started off, right? And then we came to Dimpy Dimpopo, mm. where it was Panaba Slender, Panaba Sticks and Bones. You go to Vision Active. What are you trying to lose? Your life, Nana. <laughs> so that was the dimpy one, like the dimpy dimpopo one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as time went past and grew, like it was only Nana and dimpy dimpopo. But how did, what I want to find out is, questing. how did you know, no, this is going to work. People are going to love these characters. Like people are going to love Nana. People are going to love dimpopo. So so how I knew that is that this is going to work, right? I'm always this, what they call uh, out. Outspoken, outspoken like, yeah. yeah, outspoken. Mm. I like. I'm not loud, mm. but I always like to be seen, but not also in a bad way. I always like to be in a spotlight. You see, with the skin color. Spotlight. Why am I the only one having this? By the way, why aren't you having? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. I'm actually, I'm actually used to it. So I asked the lady next door to throw something different in for you. <laughs> Like so, when something happens, you is over strong or something. Is over right? Is <laughs> it about to get lit, bro? <laughs> yeah, carry on. Sorry. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. It was at the at the end of the day, I was just believing in myself, having faith, mm. and, and and pushing myself like beyond uh, my own like ability, and just giving it my all. And yeah, do and you still remember the first uh, video that went viral? The the first one, uh, yeah, I do remember the one that says, I think I was uh, checked like this, but the blue one on. Mm. Yeah, it was in the car. Mm. Right? The, are you talking about the skit or the promo one? Let's, let's talk about the skits first. The skit one is the same one I told you of Banaba Sticks and Bones. Mm. Banaba Slender. Mm. Yeah, I have a blue t-shirt on there. I've done it there in my room. And that one, I even before I even posted it, I had to get second opinions like... Guys, you think this one is going to work? You know, you're in the wood, you ask, check this video. When I saw two, three people laughing, I said, ah, I'm posting it. Oh, Whatever okay. happens after this, I, God can take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and then the promo, the first promo that went viral. Because I feel like, tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I feel like you put my piano on the map mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of your videos. Yeah, because, because some of the stuff, like if it comes to promos, right? The, the stuff that people send to get promoted and stuff. Mm. It depends like on the music as well. Mm. Because if I do play a song, even you, if you play a song and you like the song, then you will, you will like chive to it. You will like vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You will, like, then you can it. deliver better. You understand what yeah. I mean? It's mm. not like just going and putting on Luther Vendros and saying, <laughs> you know what? First December 2019, <laughs> come out in numbers, <laughs> dance with my father again and stuff. You understand? Yeah. So it was, it was just the music that, that, that keeps the vibe going. So if, whenever I press like change, you know, next, next mm. because it's not my car, so I don't press hard <laughs> on the buttons, <laughs> you know, touch screen like car. Ta- mm, mm. So if I like the song and I feel that the stuff that I'm gonna say goes with it, then we, we you take it from there. Yeah, I'm serious, man. I think you put my piano on the map because every time I see one of your videos, you're like always dancing to a piano track, and I'm like, what track is that? I gotta have that song. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure you get that a lot, ne? yeah, yeah. It's because now, because now recently we've started to like credit uh like the, the, oh, the artists oh, yeah no. the artists so then it helps us also to 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 let people know or reach out to that song like mm. if for you an example if you say what song is that and you don't have to send me a message mm. i'm not saying you can't send me a message you can send <laughs> me a message. Yeah. but it helps because then people can see on 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 the whole post that okay here's the song here's the artist and stuff because most people used to ask like whose song is it where do you get the song and stuff so that's what we're doing now we currently like also helping promote mm. other people as well Whose idea was it to do the promo videos? Was it your idea? Yeah, most definitely. But as I said earlier on, that mm. someone asked me at first, and it was like a joke, like, mm. ah, how can I do this? I think maybe because I make too much noise. Mm. Like, you know, ah, wah, 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 wah. Then you and record the first one. Yeah, and I like music, and I like music, and I can vibe to, like, the music that I listen to. And, you know, I like to chive and dance and stuff. Like, do, you, nah. do you go to these gigs that you promote? Yeah, at first, some of them, we never attend <laughs> them because... <laughs> So, so, so we, we quite honest, uh, some of them, we never, we are, I even hardly went to them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was at first, like just promote the gig. And the next morning I asked, Ola, how did you go? 
<laughs> so even if there's five people, ten people, you don't care. Ah, <laughs> so so long I've done my part, I've I've helped where I could help. So yeah. at first it was like, how did it go and stuff? But as time went on, you know, when you start to like uh, get more advanced, and I saw the request like are coming in more and more and more. Mm. Is when I started to go into the gigs and people asked me to MC and do. Oh, this so now you're doing MC? Yeah, now nice. I do everything. I I can nice. talk for you as well. <laughs> you want me to talk? <laughs> I tweak in yana la. So, so how how goes that whole process? Like, if I want to do a promo video, how do I do it? Like, who do I call? What's the process? No, so 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 basically, the the the, the guys like that like come to UCF, right? Mm. So someone would message you saying, you know what? I have this big event coming up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have this big event coming. Hey, it's so big you can't even eat it. Finish. Like. Yeah. Hey. Nah. But it's so, nice, I like it. <laughs> just tell me when some when you're getting dizzy or something, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I know what's happening. Yeah. So 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 yeah, so people used to approach me asking, can't I help them promote certain events for them, gigs that's coming up? Because I feel that by me doing the promo videos is also a different way of getting message across to people. But uh, what you can send someone a flyer, then they'll like read it and say, Yeah, I have to go there. But I thought that the idea of the video also being there, like, it's going to, like, constantly be in your mind, like, mm. you know, that, oh, the 19th, I have to go there, I have to be there and stuff, right? Mm. So then people used to come and send me, like, flyers, then we used to communicate and everything, and then after that, we took it from there and done the videos, send it to them, like, thank you, the party was full, this one didn't come, that one didn't come, but it actually helped a lot of promoters and event organizers at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay, so now, okay, you started with the skits, and uh, now you're doing promos. Okay, now, uh, Dimpopo is becoming a thing now. Yeah, ish. When ish. did you start feeling, no, this is, I'm becoming big, like I've been becoming famous now. So, 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 so for me, like, at, at, at some point, at some times in life, when, especially when you're alone, it's like, oh, I'm really Tim Popo. Like, this mm. guy is big. Like, this yellow bone is big, big, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to public, like, being out there, I, I, I don't tell myself that I'm better than that one, or I can do better than that one, or I can't talk to this one, I can't greet that one because I'm there on top. But when did you realize now I'm famous? Like, when did it sink in? Or okay, I think I've made it. I think the moment we set up now, yeah, me and you, like, <laughs> ah, I am famous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. So I was like, the moment we set up, yeah, I'm like, yo, <laughs> ah, it's true, guys. It's true. Because I remember the first time we met, because uh, I'd see you on my WhatsApp, like, I'm like, hey, this guy, this guy's funny, you know? And then it was in December, we were both doing an interview for Moja TV. Yeah, yeah, Moja. Like, oh, yeah. I want to say when I come in, I say, I saw this guy somewhere. Now, <laughs> now I'm trying to sit there. You saw I made a phone call. I wanted to ask the lady, where did I see this guy or something? <laughs> so, yeah, I saw you there on, and you said that was the lady. You still don't know why you broke up till this day. And stuff. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so that's when we met and I was like, yo, dude, I got an interview, you know, yeah, and I could tell this guy didn't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> yeah, I just thought maybe, okay, he's doing good, what is good, so he's here to do his business and he's out. Yeah. So yeah, I can remember that one. Yeah, so now you're working with Mapori, so you guys have a song together? Yeah, that one is quite fire. Eh? How did that come about? So, so, so basically the, the idea was that Timpy Tim Popo has to get a song out. <coughs> you know how it is. So different people. Did you approach him or he approached you? So different people approached me, mm. right? So different people approached me like pull through, pull through. And at the end of the day, you don't want to end up making something or deals with people that you understand what I mean. I'm not undermining or underestimating anyone at the end of the day. Mm. But you know, they say get the bag while you can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Maporisa came and he said, no, Timpy pull through. Let us try something out. And as we all know that Maporisa is, is big. That guy. Yeah, I know he's a hit maker. Yeah, since I was small in Yana, you know that small yellow bones, which I was shame. Yeah. Yeah, and I knew Maporisa. I went to born last week. Nah, not last week. <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, for me it was just like, oh, seeing Maporisa. Yeah. Yeah, and he's asking me to come to his crib and doing this and this. Wow. You know, I was even excited and everything. The chicks was right when I got there. Like, is Maporisa really this guy? Yeah. So it was amazing working with that guy. The song was dope. Got on, 30 minutes, done, song dope, and it's fire. Until this day, it's still fire, and it's named Om Kosiam. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a massive song. It's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. What I love about you is that within, like, last year has been, must have been crazy for you, you know? From uh, having to do, um, what's that work that you're doing that you didn't get paid for? Uh, the skits. No, 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 before that, before the skits. Uh, you were saying, no, no, you haven't been back there. Uh, the... 
Oh, the family center. Yeah, the family center. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've spoken so much. I even <laughs> forgot, like, I had to, like, you know, your memory card, like, format and another, like, space. You're making space. So at the family center, right? So it was volunteering there, right? Yeah. But there was a sort of, uh, what do you call it, re- remuneration coming yes, in. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. There was, like, funds coming in, but I was also volunteering mm. at the end of the day. And it was just helping, giving back to the community, helping the children here in the wood. Yeah. And it was a drop-in center, which they call it, right? So kids used to come, have something to eat. We help them with their homeworks. We play games with them. And until about four, half past four, then they get escorted home from the members of the family center. Yeah. So, yeah, it was actually fun, but nevertheless, I enjoyed it. And so long seeing the kids happy that time was... Yeah, 100%. Which is why I'm saying, like, from you doing, from doing that to then... Going to do a track with my poor Reza. Like I'm saying, last year was crazy for you. But what I like about you is that you still maintained, uh, you know, to stay humble because it Aww. looks like it hasn't got into your head, you know? Aww. Hence, we're still doing a, an, an interview in Eldos. <laughs> <laughs> You're in touch with your, with your community yeah. still, you know what I mean? You're in touch with yourself. Am I right in saying that or am I just... Yeah, no, most definitely. 200% I'm with you there. But let me just like, like clear something up, right? If it comes to famous and, and stuff getting to your head, that's the time where, where me, I feel personally, if I get to that stage where I feel that I'm famous, uh, I'm already there on top, it's where it's going to uh, like let me forget where I come from mm. and forget about the people that are around me, the ones mm. that have always been there for me. Right? Mm. Mm. So you know that idea of you feel you're famous, you've made it, and then you don't worry about people anymore. You move, come out, centurion, <laughs> and the estate, and estate, estate, Kayala, you are more underground parkings <laughs> and... <laughs> And stuff, so, so, so for me, staying the person that I am, I enjoy it more than anything. Yeah. And how do people ch- treat you in the hood? Because now you're famous and they know you got money. Oh, oh, oh nah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to miss this, Nana. Nah. You don't want to miss this one. <laughs> so, so, so people now, uh, I'll take you back at first, right? Yeah. At first, it was just dim, Dimsa. Dimsa. Dimsa, yeah. People used to call me Dimsa. There's some still do call me that. So it was Dimza because I used to play soccer. I was quite good in the soccer as you well. You play soccer? Yeah, but what you know, uh, in the middle. But you know, once you turn 21, I'm telling people now, once you turn 21 and you haven't made it in soccer, <laughs> yeah, career, it's yeah, all yeah, all yeah, leave everything. <laughs> leave everything. Once you turn 21 and you're not a professional soccer player, leave it. I left it because I, I saw that was not my field. Yeah. But nevertheless, right, people at first, because the teams out with the soccer and everyone was cool. I'm not a fighting type person. I always used to make jokes, laugh and, and, and stuff like that, you understand? And the, how it came about that I like making jokes and talk the way I talk because I was teased a lot. So I had to like equip myself, learn myself so that I can defend myself at the end of the day, right? Yeah. So then people were like, just teams are teams are teams are teams are. But now because it's Dimpopo, now it was first, uh, Kupa five rand, but now it's, who Nana Kupa five hundred rand, thousand rand, it's a ah, sister, sis, when, sis. So, so, so now it's far different yeah. to how it used to be back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Now people are not even asking anymore about my five pop, two rand and stuff. It's now someone came like, comes like back from 2008, you know what? Ne? You still owe me that hundred rand of that time. <laughs> I borrowed you or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's quite it's quite interesting now being Dimpopo right now. So yeah. Is the Mrs. Dimpopo? Yeah, most definitely. Is it? Yeah, there is a Mrs. Dimpopo. Please tell me she was she's been with you since the beginning. Yo, that lady, we we, we it's our anniversary today. Hey, hey now, hey, hey, now, hey, now. hey. <laughs> How many years? Good yeah, time? I live the year part for now. <laughs> So, so, so basically today it's, it's two years and two months. Mm. So, so we're getting there. I know maybe you're married now, 18 years. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this lady has been there from the start. So I appreciate her uh, being there and yeah. everything. So yeah. So and she was there before you blew up? Before I even, before I even came Dimpy Dim Popo. Mm. And, and to let the secret out and put it on the table, the hair that I use <laughs> in the videos for Nana. <laughs> it's her hair. <laughs> she's gonna kill me for this she's like i'm like baby borrow me the hair like <laughs> yeah. hey, borrow me a week i just want to do a one video which a week or yeah, something yeah, yeah. You know? so so yeah it's that that's the most important thing and how is she handling the fact that you're famous now uh she at first it was she couldn't like uh, get along with it but you know if you sit down with someone you speak mm. let them know this is the logistics this is how old are you 
Who me? Mm. 23 Ah, you're a youngster, eh? Huh? I still look good, eh? I still look good Like 23 Who else is 23? Let me check That looks so good <laughs> Yay Yeah, yeah, yeah So what did you do for your anniversary? What are you, what are you planning? Or are you still going to do something for Nah, we were, we were what today? The whole day mm. So we just watch You know this They call it ID ID something The channel 171 on a DSTV mm. where, where the kids get lost and kidnapped We watch this murder cases and stuff Today on your anniversary Today? Yeah, there's no money for my popcorn <laughs> movies nya, 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 nya. You put DSTV because you want to keep it in the house <laughs> You buy a packet of popcorn You shoot there in the pan You eat there Or you buy something here <laughs> So she was fine with that, and you know that every time, uh, when they, uh, like cold case, this murder cases starts, and they find like the serial killer, the perpetrator, you just say, "Baby, don't worry, I love you. I won't do anything like that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just every five to eleven, happy anniversary and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So, so that was our anniversary today. It was quite dope, eh? Uh, but who do you have a crush on, like in the industry, like famous people? In like internationally or let's like? Lo- let's keep it local. Let's keep le- it. Local. Yeah, let's keep it local. Yeah. Yo, mm-hmm. boyty, boyty. Yo, because I know internationally we both like the same woman. Nah, uh, most we, definitely not. We do. No Can I tell de- you who it is? Ooh. Megan Good. Oh, Kosia! <laughs> <laughs> you know that lady's lips. Hey, that lady's lips. <laughs> Just the lips of Megan Good. It's finished. <laughs> the Lord can take me after that. <laughs> But I, so so locally because mm. I believe in supporting local artists and and. Mm-hmm. and, and and, and and stuff so for me I Bonang 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 Bongi Bongi <laughs> But Bonang doesn't have an ass though ah, let's leave that part because remember we spoke about anniversary earlier <laughs> <laughs> So that status I can leave it <laughs> No I feel you I feel you So I know you're a big fan of, of, of black coffee you love Trevor Noah who else do you admire? So so locally in the industry, yeah. I'm Lindo the vocalist, mm. because I've gotten a chance to like speak to those guys and interact with those guys. What do you love about him? Several times, I his music, mm. especially Blessa. Blessa is just something when when she's angry, you play that number for her. you. Shapa ama Blessa. She will say after that, baby, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mara, I'm um, Lindo the vocalist, si Java. They they quite a lot those guys, and yeah. because I think we. Most of us are in the same age group, mm. so so the reason I love them is because I'm I'm looking up to some of them, mm. and also hoping that one day we can I can be there like yeah not in competition with anyone but yeah same just, level yeah. yeah same same level yeah. you understand I even look I even dyed my hair I hope um Lindo is gonna see this for my quest <laughs> I tried something to to do something here guys uh, no? looking fresh looking fresh let's go to your Instagram live I'm, I'm sure people want to ask you questions. Ask yeah. them to ask you questions and then you can answer some questions. Yeah. They, they're asking a lot, guys. So, what are they asking? What up, guys? Tim Pirin Popo here. I'm sure they're wondering who's this old man? <laughs> <laughs> who's this Bali? <laughs> so, 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 this is your chance, guys. This is your opportunity to ask me anything you want before my data finishes. Yeah. Come on, Nana. I, this guy's like it. You don't want to miss this one here, yeah, most definitely, eh? Yes. Tim Pirin Popo. So, 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 guys, I need you guys to understand one thing that I'm not from Limpopo. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Limpopo. Are you from Limpopo? Yeah. Born and bred. So, I'm Dimpy, you, Limpopo. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Dimpy, you, Limpopo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how old am I? So, so someone just. 23. Okay. Uh, 23 years old, darling. Mm. Was that a lady? Uh, Clisperate West. I'm just gonna. Can you please give me your number? Oh, 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 oh! We'll talk about that some other time. You can't be giving out your number on your anniversary. Yeah, that's yeah, savage. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous, right? So, yeah. hello, hello. You can me new. I can you. What's your real name? So I go by the name of Nadim Poon. N A D W E M Nadim P O E N Poon. And what, what, what do your parents think of your success? Are they happy? Yeah, most definitely because uh, regarding me, right? Mm. Can I tell you? Can I tell you my goal? And it's what I tell everyone. Yeah. That I think the real reason why I'm I'm pushing myself and and uh, challenging myself, especially each and every day, is yeah. because I wanna buy my parents a house, right? Mm. They live in Club Town right now, so I wanna buy my mother like a house in Kailami. No, I not in Kailami. <laughs> Maybe Alex, maybe Alex, where where the mouse is so big like the cat, 
You know, Alex, the, the mouses and rats in Alex looks like they, 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 if you, if you're a mouse and you go to Alex, you're going there to study. <laughs> you're going to varsity because you grow so big there in Alex. The mouses know, Alexandra. Yay. So, so yeah, that's what keeps me going, right? Mm. So what keeps mm. me going is the idea that I want to buy my parents' house. I want to make my mother proud. And at, on a personal level, uh, me, like, I, I'm, I'm free to speak about it, right? Yeah, yeah. In my family, right? I'm not the only albino. Mm. So I've got my father's complexion, me and my sister, right? Mm. So, so for me, pushing myself, working hard is to, to, to make sure I make ends meet by getting my sister, especially the treatment wow. and, 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 the, and the care, like, you know, the intensive oh, care wow, that, yeah. she, that she needs right now. Mm. Because I'm not going to say she's not normal, but she's not in a state where, where we are. Mm, 100%. You understand? Mm. So she's always constantly living on tablets, constantly mm. living on pills and hospitals in and out. So I'm just trying to occupy that space for her. So that she can so also live a normal like like. This means you can't do drugs, eh? Because so many people are looking at you, you know. Ooh, yeah, like, me like you, you can't fuck around. Nah, nah, not at all. Because for me, nah, if I can just smoke yazi nana one RG, I smoke one RG. Lips blue, look at. <laughs> Picture yellow bone, blue lips, one RG. Savannah or anything RG Savannah whatever. Blue with the lips, so people will start noticing if I do smoke anything. So I try to keep it pure and just clean. Do you drink? Yeah, on a, on a <laughs> special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> on a special occasions, but so, so so yeah. But most of the stuff, if it comes to to smoking and drinking, mm. I don't smoke nothing at all, right? Mm, mm. But drinking, I do at special occasions. But some some stuff, I only do it in my own private space mm. because remember, Dimpopo, there are kids looking up to you. Any any celebrity or any artist or any any person, right? Mm. If you're a public figure, there are people there are kids that are looking up to you. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to show the kids that listen, yeah. Once you've made it in life, you can start doing this. Drinking is the way. Smoking is the way. So I just try to like refrain, like keep myself away from that space, especially in front of the public, because you can't go on stage with a cider or strong bow or something mm, mm. and want to dance there in front of people what example are you setting for people that are looking up to you and people that wants to be like you yeah you understand so yeah i'll not disclose anything further i heard a rumor that uh, you've got a reality show coming out <laughs> hey, hey, hey. come forward with your body whoever said the reality show come forward come forward nah nah let us talk let us start shooting but it will be quite dope, eh? A reality show, yeah, that, yeah. Will, that, that will be really dope, eh? Yeah, I'm lying, by the way. No one said that. I just wanted to see if you got Oh, it. you're... <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing you. Yeah, but, but that would be, that would be yeah. dope. Would I you think, be open to that? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I think I can run for that at a later stage. Mm. And especially now this year. So at a later stage, I mean two days from now. <laughs> I, can, I feel a reality show can start. So yeah, let us kick it off, guys. <laughs> What's the reality show? <laughs> you don't know what channel we'll talk about it on DSTV. Just know it's DSTV. Yeah, what channel would you want to be on, though? Me? Mm. Mm. On DSTV. Mzanzi, ne? Mzanzi, ne? Ne, I don't know why, Mara. Mzanzi, and and I'd and rather watch your show than Bonang's one. So I think you should. Yeah. You think I should? Mm. Because I, I'm sure that whenever the reality show starts. It's twerking, it's singing, it's dancing, it's cooking. And you know, colors, they, they, you know, some people have this idea of colors are like wild, like, like to fight and, yeah, yeah. and, and all of these things. Mm. So I'll make sure that I put like 20 colors in front of the camera. <laughs> they must just sing and dance and, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> it's love and hip hop, elder style. <laughs> yeah, love and hip hop, elder style. I think I can. <laughs> Hashtag elders. All right, cool. So we're about, hey, shit, man, we're almost out of time. So listen, uh, I wanna, I've got some quick fire questions for you. So I'm going to ask you these questions and you must answer truthfully and honestly, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so quick fire, so as quick as you can. Okay. Uh, night out or night in? In. Night in? Nyazala, nyazala. Just, Mara, you, you, on your videos, trying, you're promoting I was trying this. to sound like a nun, you know, a nun. Like, <laughs> you know those slay like, queens and those blessings. It's, I'm going nowhere tonight. I'm staying at home. Maria Mang, are you lying? You're going through the window or something. <laughs> so to top off the question, <laughs> night out. <laughs> night night out. out, okay. Uh, Cape Town or Durban? Durban. Durban? Yeah. But all the colors are in Cape Town. Uh, you see Cape Town, the, 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 the moment you go in the water... If you come back, something's gone. 
<laughs> it's either you coming out with a shark or I don't know what fish, mermaid or anything. So, so yeah, Durban, I, I love it. <laughs> And uh, do, you, do, you, do you perform in Durban now, now that you're big? Like, do you ever go there? Yeah, for me, I, I've, I've went once to Durban, but Cape Town, those guys are amazing there. I've been, like, uh, most of the time in Cape Town, the support and everything, it's amazing there. So when they book you, what do you do there? MC? Yeah, MC. It's like the moment I, I like, get on stage, like, I can remember the last show I had this jacket on, right? You can see this jacket. Mm. So I had this jacket on, and when I just got on stage, like the whole club or whatever that was, started mm. screaming, Team Popo! Wow! Team Popo! You know, and it's like a privilege to see that the love and support. These guys are amazing. The energy, the hype. Wow. It was like, yo. How does I'm, it feel? Like, I've never, I've never been through that. Nah, I'm sure you have experienced that because no. with the Moja Love interview, when you went home, people didn't say, I saw you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 yeah, it it feels yeah oh it it's it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. It shows that on the other end that I'm doing something good and the people love it and and I love you guys too and I appreciate you guys too, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't for people, especially like on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of these social media platforms. Yeah. Because that's where it started. Yeah. I wouldn't have been the person I am today, and that's 23 and sexy. Fuck, fuck Instagram. For me, you're the WhatsApp king. Every What's day up, I see you on my WhatsApp time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people just say mood. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hearing mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to ask you, Ne. Uh, what was my question? I wanted okay, to ask you. Oh, yeah, yeah. The last one. So, so I don't know how you do it because I've got stage fright, Ne. Mm-hmm. So whenever I get on stage and people are looking at me, I just I get nervous. I can't, I can't take it. But you look like. You love it. Like, you look like you're at your element when you're on stage, bro. You look like, you know, you, you, you're safe. And yeah, this is yeah. what you want to do. Yeah, for, for me, it all boils down to the, the going back to school, where you had to do this prepared speeches, unprepared speech, and stuff. And, and, and in class, you had these people and ladies that used to come and do their speeches like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah, <laughs> you, do, you get people that do the speech like this. Ah... <laughs> uh, Someone <laughs> shot this, and the teacher say, "Yes, yeah. you can go sit uh, out of ten, two, mm, mm. two out of ten. So for me, it started there at class, at school, where I was keen, I was excited. Whenever it's my time, if I said Dimpi, na, not Dimpi, yeah. <laughs> Nadim Poon, is your time for speech? I go there in front, I kill it. I like to like talk, like. So you relish being on stage? Yeah, being mm. on stage feels like home. Like mm. you know, when 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 you, when you sit on the toilet and <laughs> after a long day. You know when you sit after a long day in the toilet and the first the first number comes out, the first drop starts then yo it's a relief. It's the relief that it feels like that. It's Where did you get this guy man? <laughs> so 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 yeah, it's 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 quite good, eh? Uh, okay, let's continue with the questions. Uh Caspanya Vest or Ricky Rick? Kespa. You like Kespa? Yeah, that uh they call him the Mufasa. Mm, mm. The Mufasa. And I can I can clarify why why Kespa. I, I do lo- love Ricky Rick a lot. Like yeah. His music is dope, he's a cool guy and everything. But Kespa at one stage also like in like made me feel welcome, especially when I was there. Oh you've met him? Yeah, at his place before. I have oh, a picture of him. Like me. I have a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love Kai Love you. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a picture with him. So so yeah, I was very welcoming the first time I saw him. Yeah. It was amazing. We shot a video there in the jacuzzi. Oh yes, you're promoting Philip. Uh, yeah, Philip Moses Mabiga. Yes. Yeah. Did he approach you for yeah. that? Yeah, so it was through Tolles Mo and, and everything. These guys, they were friends and, and they gave me an opportunity to, to especially see. For them, it was just like, let him come, let him do the video maybe. But for me, it was like an excitement. It's just, I'm going to see mm. Kesper, I'm going to see Tolles Mo, I'm going to see these guys. And when we got there, it was very like, it was overwhelming because it was... How big is his house? His house looks massive. Huge, huge, huge. Like, if I can fetch a stone there outside for you, it's not <laughs> even half the size or, or something. You understand what I mean? But it's, it, that was good, eh? And did you get paid for that? We'll talk after the show. Like, <laughs> we'll talk after this. <laughs> okay, uh, here's another question. Last person you texted? Uh, oh, I won't say girlfriend. Was it your girlfriend? Yeah. What were you saying? I just told her I'm going to be busy now. I'm going to speak with you after the interview. And she's like, yeah, all the best. Enjoy. Be yourself. And I love you. Oh, no, no. When are we seeing this uh, lady with a special lady? I think uh, you just came few, like 10 minutes late because she was here. Yeah, and no, I'm saying like on social media, 
Are you going to post her? Have you p- posted her already? Yeah, I've posted her already since day one, which is on Facebook and stuff. Mm. But if it comes to Instagram, I believe it's strictly business. <laughs> <laughs> I hope okay. it makes sense, right? No, it makes sense, makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, iPhone or Huawei? iPhone, because that's a Huawei that I'm using here. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was waiting for something like this. I'm live, right? But the screen is half dead. <laughs> You'll need to understand that, guys. I'm live, but the screen is half dead. <laughs> so iPhone for, for me, and I hope that I do get sponsored one day. I don't have money. You know, it's January just last month. Yesterday was January. So the money is gone. So yeah, iPhone. Who, who, which sponsors do you have right now? I'm sure you got a lot, ne? Yo, for 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 me now to be quite honest, I'm even sweating. Yo, she <laughs> she So 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 at the current moment, there aren't any 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 really sponsors like available. Yeah. yeah. But I'm hoping and, and and praying like this year that something happens, someone pulls through. But I saw you were doing a promo with Bulletproof. Is it? Yeah, yeah, the universal one. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So that was just like a paid partnership something mm. so so yeah but i'm just hoping from now on like uh, that someone comes through and oh by the way have you trademarked uh you don't want to miss this nano you know all the phrases you say so we're currently busy with those mm. ones. yeah so we're just taking it one step at a time remember i'm still slender i don't have muscles <laughs> so i'm taking it one step at a time yeah because i'll die on the road you know no, outside. you gotta trademark that man because like that stuff is huge and every time someone says it you must get paid yeah, but at the end of the day, uh, if if I see that someone saying it makes them happy, I, I love it. I, I I see myself in that. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So even though someone says it, the idea around it and the, the wording, it will be like, oh, it's dimpy dim popo. Like, yeah. You yeah. don't want to miss this one. And especially when I go to malls and stuff, you don't want to miss this one. Even almost, oh, I'm you know, like stuff, yeah. stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's just... Yeah, but I, I mean, if see. Huawei says you don't want to miss this one and they bring out a phone, you can charge them and then you can buy your mama a house in Kailami. Yeah, ne- but not Kailami, maybe. <laughs> 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 okay, last question. What's your favorite song right now? On Kosiami. Not because I'm featuring on the song, but that song is dope. It's amazing. It's fire. I actually dance to that song each and every morning. When I wake up, Uring mood. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Nana. Come on, friendship. So yeah, that's my favorite song right now. And I'm promoting a song. I'm telling you guys to... Make sure that you download it, iTunes, wherever you can get it. If you don't have it, come to my house. I'll send it to you via Shade. But I'm buying an iPhone soon, so I'll send it to you via iTunes or what something. Ne? Yeah. We transfer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dimpopo, thank you so much for coming nah, through, man. It's, it's been a pleasure guys. chilling with you, man. Love your vibe. Wish you all the best. Are you planning on working with anyone else apart from Apodisa this year, music-wise? Yeah, music-wise. So so for me, I'm planning on, 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 on taking like the like driving the boat myself. Mm. Not in a selfish way, but but trying to produce and and, and get my you own wanna, music. You want, you want the whole bag for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Some something it gets. So I wanna try to from this point forward push myself, challenge myself to to get my. I can own. teach you how to produce. I'm huh? on reason. I'll teach you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm on reason. So you're sleeping here tonight and we work the whole night through like... Yeah, you don't want to miss this, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> we might make a hit. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, that would be quite that would be quite dope. Yeah. For 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 now, especially this coming year. That will be the plans. Uh, okay, so what are the plans? So you are MCing, yeah. right? You're still doing the promo videos. Most definitely. Elevating them. Most definitely, most definitely. You know, people miss the cards so much, but some people have to understand that we are just trying something new. Yeah. And because of... Oh, you don't do it with the car anymore? Nah, I do it with the car. Like, oh. Like, now I feel like I'm sitting in the car like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! You so, can get a car sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, that's one. I wanted, man. I wanted to say earlier because whoever watches this video, ne, if your dad says he's gonna buy you a car for your birthday, ask him to buy one for Dimpo Popo. So please, yeah, yeah, please, 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 Nana. So I'm hoping that that also comes in sponsor, car sponsor, and everything. And I'm just hoping for the best this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how related are you to, to him? To to um the people can't see like him. <laughs> yeah, he'll well, come. Yeah. Oh yeah. How, how, how are you guys related? The, the people need to see. Oh, uh, he's asking how am I related to to him? Mm. Italops, right? So Italops is is a friend of mine, right? Mm. So I used to live here. I I used to live here next door. Mm. So it is. Just speak on the mic, please. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, you know, almost this is not, like the stage mic is already in the end. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so 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 basically how I know Italy is is, yeah. is growing up, I always grew up here in like 
growing up coming here this side weekends especially yeah and it's a place where i could always come to it's still a home till this day like most of the people think things that i love here like, mm. i know. thought you lived here as well as well so yeah yeah if so. you go to my if you go to my hood now hey <laughs> you can go to my place now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't want to leave there or something. <laughs> so you guys are business partners now. Yeah, like? yeah. Most definitely business partners, and it's working very well. Mm. So since last year, since the thing has been kicking off, business partners wise, but it's going good. Yeah, eh? uh, I must tell you guys before Stop the interview, saying. he pulled me aside. He's like, "Hey, Mac, can I please talk to you for two minutes?" Mm -mm. He's like, "Don't say this. Don't say this. Don't say that." <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So he's doing his job. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> In closing, what do you want to say, man? Because we were chatting before you came, man, and he's got some dope ideas, man. I love the shit you guys are doing. What do you want to say in closing? In closing, I just want to say this is going to be a fun year for us. Um, we just would like people to just continue watching the space. Nana's coming back with a bang. And thank you for the support and the love that we get. And thank you for embracing my boy in the industry. Yeah. Open up the industry is real. We need more people to come into the industry. And this is a good example of what you could be. So let's open up the industry. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. hey blessed, no. blessed, hey, no blessed one is world. Hey, no wonder a Hey. Like a true hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's your take on the whole open industry? So, so regarding the whole open industry, right? I've 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 done my research. I've checked what it's all about, right? Mm. So that I can just like be like specific about it, right? Yeah. Speak so, from facts. Yeah, mm. speak from facts. But when it comes to me personally, Dimpy Dimpopa, the way I feel about opening industries, right, is that uh, each and everyone deserves a chance, an opportunity, especially the one I, the one I was given. Yeah, it's like opening your legs. Yeah, leave uh, uh, <laughs> that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 re so regarding opening the industry right <clears throat> for me i personally believe that there are a lot of people out here that are talented yeah there are a lot of people that are gifted there are a lot of people that has the the, the ability to sing dance perform act and everything just give those people a chance just give those people a platform mm. but on the other end as well those people, what are they doing to get those mm, opportunities? You true. understand what I mean? Yeah. Because we can't, we can't just go. No one will come in on your couch and say, "Oh, you look like a good actor. Mm. You look like I can be the chief in Muvango. Mm. Come, <laughs> you look like a chief. <laughs> come, I, I'm understand? actually a chief. Eh? Yeah, I, I can imagine from <laughs> Karanku or something. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. I just believe that each and everyone should give, should get and be given the opportunity that I was given personally mm. and you should pe put young people on fresh some fresh legs and stuff mm. on the platform give those What are you doing with your platform to put other people on So so basically I've spoken to my team right mm. uh, uh, about Hey you got a team now Hey now yeah, 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 yeah. don't type anything there don't type anything there You got a team <laughs> So basically, I've spoken with my business partners yeah. re uh, regarding empowering people, mm. especially people here in the community because they are very talented people here in El Dorado Park. There are people that are working extremely hard and doesn't get seen or doesn't get opportunity yeah. to, to be out there or doesn't knock on the right doors or people don't come and knock on their doors like, Coco, Coco, is anyone here? So, so, so for me this year specifically, which is yeah. my main aim is working and empowering people mm. and, and giving the people Giving people the opportunity that I've got. Yeah, man. Listen, Dimpopo, wish you all the best. Yeah, siabonga, I siabonga. So much, I love this guy's energy. You need more people like this, man. You know what I mean? But not as sexy. <laughs> not as sexy as I am, right? But more people like yeah. more yellow poems. Yeah. Can I can I be featured in one of your promo videos? I'll sit on the left. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, and I, I think I do. I think I do have a part for you when you feature in the promo videos. Yeah. So, so that this is what people likes on Instagram. They call it the back. So it goes like this. I think you can play that part. So I must do that. Yeah, I can, oh, I'm can too old for that shit. No, we're calling it an interview. It's my interview. It's my interview. I'm Just do the back. The back for the people. Like, hey, 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 hey. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, nah, man. I appreciate you. All the James. best. Wish you all the best, James, man. Same to you, eh? That's Tim Popo. We are out of here. Podcast and chill. Mac J out of the building. Boom. Podcast and chill. Mac G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.